would really help if I actually set it to the right event. <laughs> Anyway, guys, what's going on? Welcome to day number one of Bloody Harvest Mo's. So I know I was going to do a one life playthrough and I accidentally randomized it and landed on Mo's and I got like a whole day recorded and done. And then I was like, if I follow it up with this, it's going to be so repetitive. So I decided just to take a little bit to figure out what I wanted to do with this playthrough and I figured something out. So what we're going to be doing, guys, the Bloody Harvest event is going to be on throughout the entirety of the playthrough. And basically throughout the playthrough guys until I hit mayhem anything goes I'm gonna be going to the heck area obviously to go do some stuff there uh, I am gonna be incorporating the bloody harvest event as much as I absolutely can throughout the playthrough but once we hit the mayhem levels that is where the challenge is officially gonna kick in and I have to complete as much in-game content as I personally can with a terror themed build so that is what we're gonna be doing for this playthrough guys I wanted to make it to where I have a little bit of freedom because I've been so restricted on the last two playthroughs. So yeah, here we go guys. We're going to be hopping over and we're going to be starting a level 13 Moe's. Hope you guys do enjoy day number one. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so we are on Sanctuary and I accidentally found what uh, skin I was going to use during my day one. I just have to find the color combination. So... Obviously, since I'm a huge old pervert and Moe's is hot, we're going to be going with that. And I think, yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, there we go. And then I want to say, I want to say it was this one because she's kind of got like a zombie looking thing going. And then from there, what I think I'm going to do, since it is my favorite slasher, we're going to name her Mosey Voorhees. There we go. We're going to go super generic with it. So there we go, guys. Mosey Voorhees is born. All right. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to find Maurice. And we're going to get the Bloody Harvest event going. I wanted to start at level one, but I wasn't 100% sure if you even got skulls to start off with on that area. So I was like, nah, we're just going to do a level 13 skip. Uh, and then we're gonna get ourselves some SDUs going and we're just gonna hop right into this bad boy So I'm gonna take advantage of my level 72 character. Uh, I believe it was in game for cartel Zane So cartel leader Zane kicking it here on the new playthrough Helping us out giving us some assistance because we're gonna need it. Oh Yeah, and I'm out of room Right, so I decided we would go ahead and kind of spec down the blue tree first here just because I want the vanquisher rocket pods um, And we're just gonna kind of work our way down here And then I think the next tree we're gonna tackle uh, we might split them up But I definitely want to spec into the green tree next uh, But for right now, we're gonna spec down the blue tree kind of get iron bear going here a little bit uh, and I think what we're going to do is just go ahead, head over, talk to Ellie, and we're going to get the story started. The gear that we have is not amazing, but, you know, that is going to be upgraded very shortly. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and talk to Ellie and get this thing going, guys. All right, so if you are unfamiliar with the Bloody Harvest event, as you can see, these uh, ratches here, they have green, I guess, aura kind of around them. So whenever you kill them one of these ghosts is going to pop out and from there you just kill the ghost it drops ectoplasm you pick them up and then once you acquire 25 you get to go over to the uh area heck and you get to go fight uh, general haunt so that is what we're going to be doing throughout this bad boy here is trying to acquire this and there is different ones you can get like there is a uh, green ones which are the basic ones there is um red ones which are badasses and then there is loot ones which is like the legendary color uh, so we do actually are we're actually going to be getting uh, anointed gear which is pretty cool uh, they'll drop with like terror themes so I'm actually going to take a look and see what my pistol does compared to this one so yeah we'll get these terror anointments and that is where the theme of the build that we're going to be doing at the end of the series is going to be kind of coming from so I'm trying to do something a little different, but at the same time, I wanted like an opportunity just to kind of do whatever I wanted at the same time, you know? Um, like if I wanted to go knock out a DLC mid-story or something like that, then you know, I can go do it. And boom goes the dynamite. 
I love when I forget to turn replay buffer on. That is that is my favorite. You guys just missed a lot of cool stuff. Alright, so got our first badass ghost of the playthrough, and he dropped us a tribolt. So an action skill in apply terror to yourself every three seconds, which is pretty good. We also got this submachine gun. Got ourselves shield. <laughs> And then we got a class mod for Flak. So yeah, I got some pretty good stuff. I'm going to hang on to my shield because it actually does stuff. And I need to grab the cla or clap trap. Ugh. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually used the tri-bolt, so we're going to see how this goes. Of course, the first guy I run into is one of the fucking shields. There we go. I am going to go down. Damn it. There we go. What's up, ghost? Well, we have ourselves a Sum for the Road class mod. I am buying that right now. That is going to give us a point in this amazing skill. So, that'd be nice. Ooh. There we go. What the? Okay. You suck! Yet. So today they released a patch for Wonderlands. Give you an idea of when I'm recording this. I'm recording it for October because I'm going to try to make sure I have a couple episodes ready for you guys. But anyway, um, Jesus Christ. And they increased the Chaos Chambers to 100, which I don't understand personally. Um, and it breaks my heart because I actually really, really enjoyed that game. Uh, I loved it. Uh, playing through the story was super fun. And, man, I don't know. I, I just feel like there's a lot of potential there for that game, but they just won't They just won't do it. Like, I mean, the, the obvious thing to do there is to... I don't like this gun that I have. It's to make some actual in-game content, but they won't do it for some damn reason. It's so weird. Hey, level up. I wonder if this still works. <laughs> it does. You can actually fly across the map doing that, but it's nice to know that it still works. Stay down, scrub. Hey, level up, boys. Alright, so now we can equip class mods. Let's see what we get here. That's actually horrible. Uh, so we're going to throw on the Succubus Commander because it is going to give us a skill in Vampire and it is going to give us a skill in Same for the Road. So, once we hop into Iron Bear, we come on out. You guys can see infinite ammo we're gonna hop into heck probably get dominated but we're gonna attempt it we'll, we'll just see how this goes it's difficult to destroy i swear I, I don't know what it is about normal mode dude i let it reload there we go eh. Like, what the hell is that shit? Good news is, however, we have that infinite ammo, baby. Yup. Gun kind of gets set up here, and... Got his ass. Oh, wow, he went flying, son. Ah! Dang it. Alright. Got his ass.
Alright, here he is. Captain Haunt, baby. Heck yeah. Alright. I am not looking forward to the stupid immune phases because those damn statues take so much damage. It's kind of stupid. He's actually going to stand over it again. This is such horseshit. Look at him coming back, you stupid bitch. Look at him. I can't even fucking hit this thing because he keeps standing over it. Okay. We're just spamming the fuck out of here. you really not drop me anything? Did you really not drop me anything? He didn't drop me anything? Are you kidding me right now? What a hooker! This thing's pretty cool. Oh, we got a loot ghost. God, if I can freaking hit it. Did he just drop me a cracker too? Hoo <laughs> baby! Oh, yes, sir. Alright. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. Oh, Where's this fire the crack until we don't give it? Oh, yeah. Level up, baby. Look at all these red dots. The hex shall change that. I'm out of grenades, man. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Aha! Suck it, bitches. The one thing I'll never understand about Borderlands games is anyway is the fact that like you'll you'll play through a game with a ball hunter right and they're like badass you know you'll go take down all these crazy raid bosses you'll go do all this crazy stuff you'll get this like build going or whatever and then in the next game they can't like do anything against normal ass enemies i don't know why that bothers me it just it does Ooh, blue ghost oh i got something Will you let me out of the corner, you little hooker? Oh, that, that actually... Second set of what? Okay, what the fuck? Wow. Five into scorching RPMs. That's actually kind of crazy. Yep, it is literally a free level mission. <laughs> and we have a queue system. I will definitely take that. Alright, so as you can see, we're already almost level 18 as well. That's, that's pretty nice. That mission is very, very helpful. 
Hey, level up, boys. Level eight. And there we go. Boss down. And for that, I must take it out on you. There we go. Now I feel better. Hey, there's a level up. Cool. Alright, that is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for day number one of Bloody Harvest Mo's. So I went ahead and just finished getting to level 19 because one of the challenges was kill a demo Skagen and I was like, well, I'm probably going to level up off of this. So yeah, uh, as for the gear that we're ending on day one with, uh, I have some random crap that I need to sell. Um, so really I've just been using the Krakatoa and the saw bar and then I've been fluctuating between the Marshall, uh, this long rider, and then I got the redistributor from the last mission that we did. Uh, as far as shield goes, using this red card here, uh, we have this Succubus Commander, and that is just because it gives us a nice point into uh, some for the road, which is nice, and also gives our vampire a little extra point there, which is nice. And then I got this amazing cloning hex, which has not fallen off yet, surprisingly. Uh, the skill tree, we're just working down the blue tree right now. Got the Vanquisher rocket pods because we want to go super try hard early in the game. And yeah, so we did a heck run already, and I think tomorrow what we'll do, or in the next episode, I keep saying tomorrow, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> in the next episode, I think we'll start off by going back to heck and doing another run there and then continuing on with the story. Um, once I get kind of decently into the story, I might kind of veer off and do some DLCs uh, and just kind of monkey around, level up, have some fun. And yeah, we'll just try to enjoy this playthrough for as long as we can, uh, work towards the in-game goal. But if you guys did enjoy day number one, please make sure to let me know by giving the video a thumbs up as I find this redistributor. That is actually pretty awesome. We'll buy it. Why not? Why not? We'll, we'll go a little try hardy. Anyway, make sure to let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you have not already subscribed. And yeah, see you guys in day number two. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.